I was playing Star Wars Battlefront 2 the other day on the PlayStation 2 and thought it would be fun to share a little glitch. You enable invincibility, go to this building, and fly up. I used a jet trooper, but I've seen other people use different characters. There's no real benefit to this glitch regarding gameplay. I guess you could walk around up here and try and pick people off, but it's kind of hard to do. And that's not why I did it as a kid, and that's not why I do it now. As a kid, I really just enjoy trying to break games, of course. Um, as anyone who plays a lot of games does. It's always fun when you um, get to go somewhere you're not supposed to be. Get outside the map. What's somewhat interesting about this is... You get outside the playable map, and it's sort of just another wider map. Of course, it's unfinished. Rightly so. The game designers, developers, and probably couldn't spend time and resources to finish these buildings. That would have been a waste of computing power. Money. Um, still, it's fun to come out here. And that's what I liked as a kid wandering around, seeing these unfinished areas. Sort of like seeing behind the scenes of some play or getting a special tour at some office. I've never been on a special tour, but I imagine this is what it feels like. You walk around out here and it's a claustrophobic maze of invisible walls and unfinished buildings. Some textures you can walk through, others you can't, you never really know. Further beyond, it's just an endless plane extending above an infinite void. I've never really tried to walk very far out here. I assume it's infinite. But I'm sure at some point you reach the end and fall through down into that blackness below. Going back and trying this as an adult, I feel that feeling I felt as a kid, that sort of joy and glee of getting to see some secret. There's something about the loneliness and emptiness of this area that appeals to me. In the truest sense, it's a liminal place, just walkways and corridors you were passing through. Of course, you're never meant to be here. The minimal graphics, minimal out of necessity, but also just because they're old, really give it a dreamlike feeling. Of course, I'm projecting that onto it. Still, it is like something out of a dream. Then again, it's just an out-of-bounds area. There's nothing more to it, except what I'm bringing with me. For the Republic. Thank you for watching this. If you were watching, I'm sure this 240p or 480p, this non-high definition video was probably not the most pleasant to watch. Even looking at the gameplay on my phone, I had a tough time. I cannot imagine how bad it is on a 40 inch TV if that's what you're doing I know of a few other glitches and might post about them but if you know any on Star Wars Battlefront 2 for the Playstation 2 I'm not sure how much it differs from the Xbox and PC releases um, I'd like to like to hear about them I'm glad you were here to share in a memory from my childhood Thank you.